Hello beautiful! Today I'm going to show you how to do this burn scar SFX effect. And at the end of this video I'm going to say hi to a few of you. So if you are interested then stay till the end. And I start off with face modification. To do this I will use some plaster. This way the corner of my lips will be slightly lifted and eyes Oh well, unfortunately nothing will happen to eyes this time. Once the plaster is applied, I am taking three components of scalp gel and mixing them in equal amounts. When the mixture is ready, I apply it onto my cheek, making sure that the plaster is fully covered. Then I let the scalp gel dry for around 10 minutes and once it is hard enough, I start filling it in. At first, I apply some foundation on top, this way it will be easier for me to work with cream colors later on. Next, I move on to cream colors. Since I don't have a pale pink color, then I create it by mixing foundation with the red cream color. Once I have the needed shade, I apply it on top of scalp gel. To make our wound more realistic, I outline each big hole on the scalp gel with red color and then visually deepen it up with a black color. It is important to work thoroughly at this point as we don't want to miss any spot and leave it without color. Now I'm going to test a new product called Transparent Jelly. It is supposed to give glossy effect to the wound and to tell you the truth it works really well. I apply it onto the whole wound and it makes the wound look realistic enough so that I don't need to use fake blood. Finally, I add a bit of black cream color on top to create the black burn effect. And we are done! Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And today I am going to say hi to Kitty Cat, Top at Gamer and Lydia Stone. If you want to get hi from me, then write your comment below with a video request and I will make sure to say hi to you too. Thanks and I'll see you soon. Bye!